Ah, welcome back to Everyday Race. Now, if you owned a Ford Ranger or a Mazda B Series truck for a long while, you probably had to replace either clutch master cylinder or a clutch pedal assembly. Now, the clutch master cylinder goes out because it's hydraulics, a bunch of seals, they dry out and then stops working. Clutch pedal assembly, you got two bushings right in there, they wear out, and then the whole thing is garbage. Now you can replace the whole thing or some people replace the bushings. You can take the whole thing apart and get it fixed. Either way, you have to disconnect this clutch master cylinder from the clutch pedal. And uh, I made a video on how to disconnect clutch switch. And uh, I've had a lot of questions about this. How do you get this arm off? So I've decided to make this video. So... Now, if your clutch master cylinder failed and you already bought a new one, the new one most likely has the clip in the arm. So you, you can pretty much just use a flat ass screwdriver and break this thing right off. The whole thing will come out. Now, if you're replacing pedal assembly, you have to disconnect it and you have to be extra careful uh, not to break this clip because if it, if it breaks, then the whole thing, let me show you what would happen. If you break the whole thing and you put it back together without this bushing, you're going to have a lot of play and it'll try to come off. And the last thing you want to do is lose your clutch. Because it will come off, it will fall off, and then you're going to be stranded. So anyways, unfortunate truth is, is that the way it works is that, as you can see, this groove in here, and this clip, well not this one in particular, but this is original Ford, and let me break this, you got... This one's got uh, three missing, uh, miss, missing some things right there. Let me break this one off. There we go. So here's what they look like. Come on. See the one on the right? That bulge, that bulge goes against this groove on the pedal. There we go. This one right here. So the way to take it out is you have to, at the same time, you have to, uh, you have to spread these four things, these four little hands, legs, whatever you want to call them. You got to spread them apart, and then the whole thing will come out. And uh, if your truck is 95, like my truck, this thing is probably so brittle it's gonna break anyways. So what you have to do is if you replace in the clutch pedal assembly go ahead and order this clip and I highly recommend getting the Ford one and let me show you why as soon as I pull this thing out there we go now this clip or bushing is made by Dorman part number 74014 and the big problem with this thing, even though it looks very similar to the Ford one, the problem is these four arms, they really don't have a very big groove. Let me see if you can see it. They don't have a very big groove that go in this slot. So it's actually easier for it to pop off. So this thing was like $10. Don't waste your time. This part is not something I would recommend. Order a Ford unit, Ford clip, and just break this thing off. All you have to do is, when it's on there, just use a flat hatch screwdriver, stick it in there, wiggle the, pe uh, the clutch pedal, and eventually it'll give up and it'll break. Just like so. This thing is 
pretty brittle and do not get dormant so that's going to be it i don't want to make this video 20 minutes uh, it's going to be a short one so that's it that's the whole thing so if you enjoyed this video hit the like button and like always have a good day